Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have another episode in our Spoiler Spotlight series in which I talk about, well, spoilers and tell you what my thoughts are on them. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about Lone Crafter Fawn. For two colorless and one green, it's a creature Seder Druid 3-3 with when Lone Crafter Fawn enters the battlefield, you may discard one or more land cards. When you do, return up to that many non-land permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. So I swear that I'm not just talking about this card because it's a new Seder, although that is probably clouding my decision a little bit since I love Seders and I have a whole deck based around them. But I think this card is actually pretty good. To start off with it, 3 3 for 3 is absolutely serviceable. It's good stats when you consider that it has a pretty strong ETB trigger. The ETB is going to allow you to discard any number of land cards and then you're going to get to return that many permanents from your graveyard to your hand so this is like an eternal witness on steroids but you do have to have lands in hand to discard that effect however plays very well into a lot of commonly played strategies such as land four decks which wants to have a lot of lands in the deck and therefore are probably going to be drawing a lot of cards I see this being very good in an AC deck for example because you're going to be having so many cards with all the card draw and then you're going to be able to discard those lands to bring back impactful stuff it also seems very very good good in any deck that wants to be dumping lands in the graveyard and there's a lot of decks based around that these days. Obviously the most classic example is the Gitrog monster which absolutely loves this card because you're going to be discarding lands which are going to draw you cards on top of the regrowth effect. That's incredibly gross and incredibly powerful and it's definitely going to go into the Gitrog monster. It's also incredibly good in the new Titania deck where you can play forest from your graveyard because you don't really care about discarding the forest into the graveyard that much in that case. There's a lot of different strategies that allow you to either play lands from the graveyard or allow you to get benefits when lands hit the graveyard and this deck is going to absolutely shine in those decks because it's going to be doing what you want to be doing anyway and giving you a very powerful effect for it at no extra cost. On top of that all the usual things apply on having this on a creature as opposed to having it on a sorcery or an instant you're going to get to bounce it and reuse the effect a lot. It doesn't exile anything as part of its cost so it's very repeatable as long as you keep having things in your graveyard to recur and you keep having lands to discard you're going to be able to do this over and over which feels really strong but with all of that I think this card doesn't only need to go in those kind of land based decks I think it can be really good in any deck that's going to be drawing quite a little bit of cards and having a fairly full hand because in that case you're almost always going to have a couple of lands to discard if you only have one land to discard this is basically a slightly worse eternal witness which is not that bad but late game even if you only have two or three lands in hand that is a huge swing and especially when it comes on a body you're not really giving up anything because those lands are probably not that relevant in the late game anyway so yeah in decks that want to be refilling their hands a lot and most good commander decks do that these days this is going to be very very good I'm quite interested in seeing how this one plays out I'm gonna pick up a couple of copies myself and see if it's as good as I actually think it is but I have high hopes for this card so there you have it those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler what do you think about this card please let me know in the comment section below i read all comments and respond to all of them too and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click like or subscribe it really helps the channel and until next time take care Woo!